Well, the city is pushing forward with its plans to make Rail Deck Park in downtown Toronto a reality. Council has decided it will look into expropriating the airspace above the rail corridor west of the Rogers Centre if it can't reach a deal with the current owners. And that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. It's hard to see, but the air above these tracks is worth fighting for. That's why another round is set to take place between the city and the owners of the downtown rail corridor. It starts with one more try at negotiating the acquisition of those air rights, but says if that isn't successful uh, because people aren't willing to be reasonable, uh, then we will move ahead uh, with the prescribed legal processes to make it happen. Rail Deck Park has always been billed as a 20-acre green space, but the city is trying to get it started with just three acres between Spadina and Blue Jays Way. The city claims it's been in talks to buy the space, but just last week at the mayor's executive committee meeting, the lawyer representing the companies that own the space said that's not true. No offer has ever been made. And as anyone who's tried to buy or sell a house knows, someone comes in and say, hey, I'd like to buy it from you. What do you think it's worth? That doesn't go anywhere. Instead, City Hall is now prepared to start the expropriation process, essentially forcing the owner to sell the space for what's considered to be fair market value. That's a frequent tool the city uses. We don't like to, but we do when necessary. For a park, though, it's not necessarily a frequent tool, is it? No, I, I would say that every month we bring forward expropriation plans to our city. Often it has to do with hard infrastructure. Condo residents in the area, for the most part, are certainly in favor of parkland over train tracks, even if the total project could potentially cost $1.6 billion. There are a lot of children and a lot of families live, you know, in the neighborhood. Um, and I want it to keep green. I don't want, like, you know, buildings. They'll add some greenery to the area and some more openness. Um, kind of uh, allow the trains to uh, clear out of the city. Timing, though, is key. The owner wants the city to make a move and has suggested a sale price of $340 million, among other options. When you go through an expropriation process, how does that impact the price and ultimately the cost of taxpayers? So an expropriation process is at fair market value. And so at the end of the day, whether we agree on a negotiated price or an expropriation price, it will be the same cost. While both sides have said they would like to get a deal done quickly, the price tag may not come that easy.